What? Oh, hello. I love how from the back, like that first where it looks, it's looking from behind you, it looks like it's like twice your size. It's just your size. It's like, the, it's the same height as you. But you know what? This Lorantis is not ready for what is about to happen. I'm pretty sure Lorantis is a bug grass type. It might not be, and it might be a, just a grass type. But either way, uh, Natsu's about to murder it, so. You know, it's level 50, holy shit, okay. Well, I was not 100% ready for this. What's up guys, welcome back to the Pokemon Umber Moon Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we took on our second trial on the Akala Islands and made our way to take on the third trial. And in today's episode, we are going to be taking on a said trial. We're going to be going through the Lush Jungle and taking on Malo's trial. But before we do that, we're gonna do a quick little team recap. I did do a little bit of grinding and got everyone up to level 47, which is about two levels higher than, it's two levels higher than the last totem, which should be a good level for us. And I'm really hoping for the best. I don't know if my like, my audio looks like it's going, like, I don't know if it's freaking out or if I'm just louder than usual, but anywho, with that, we're going to do a quick little team recap, and starting off, we've got Natsu, the Flareon, level 47, adamant nature with the flash fire ability, rock and fire fang, bite, flare blitz, and sand attack. Then we've got Eevee Light Jr., the Vaporeon, level 47, lax nature with the water absorb ability, rock and water pulse, aqua ring, aurora beam, and height haze. Then we've got Ramzan, the Alolan Raichu, level 47, Bold Nature with the Surge Surfer ability, Rocking Discharge, Charm, Nasty Plot, and Psychic. Up next, we've got our starter, Deku, the, uh, uh fuck, I keep forgetting this thing's name, Decidui, level 47, Bold Nature with the Overgrow ability, Rocking Leaf Blade, Pluck, Spirit Shack on U-Turn. Then we've got Mina, the Alolan Muck, level 47, Calm Nature with the Gluttony ability, Rocking Poison Fan, Crunch, Brick Break, and Gunk Shot. And finally, we've got Taurus, the Tauros, level 47, Hard Nature with the Anger Point ability, Rocking Horn Attack, Work Up. Payback and Zen Headbutt. So, we're basically going to be relying on Natsu for this trial. So, we're just going to, we're going to jump right into that. And, well, actually, um, okay. So, I just remembered, but I think we can get like a Wimp. We can, okay. So, we can get a Wimp Pod here. And basically, that could be a static encounter, but... It's also, it's just a Wimpod, and it'll be a Galizapod, and I don't know if I want to do that, so I don't think we're gonna. I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna just not take that, but Route 5, have we gone to Route 5? Yes, we have. Alright, anywho, let's go into the Lush Jungle and, uh, hope for the best. Let's see how it goes. Oh, hello, Malo. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to the Lush Jungle, the trial grounds for me, Malo. I knew it, I, I knew it the first time I saw you and your team. You've chosen only the finest ingredients. That's why I'm gonna make you help me, or no. I mean, that's why you should try my trial. You are the one who got the sparkling stone from straight from Taku Coco, aren't you? You're so totally ready for this? Ah, the breath of the jungle. I can tell just what today's special looks should be. Oh boy. Oh joy, okay. Alrighty. Yup, it's gotta be. My personal specialty, the Mallow Special. I'm gonna need you to find four ingredients for me. I need a mago berry, a tiny mushroom, a revival herb, and a, seer a miracle seed. Here you go. I brought you a forge bag to hold all the ingredients gathered for your trial. Thank you. I think I'm gonna need Stoutland for this, which I do have the Stoutland thingy. If you put the trial ingredients in your own bag, they'd be mixed up with your stuff, right? When you're hunting the ingredients, you're gonna wanna rely on Stoutland's help. It'll find things that you don't see after all. You remember what I told you about at the farm, right? Just press the B button to use Stoutland search. Okay, one more time. There are four things you need to get for me to clear your trial. A Mago Berry, a Tiny Mushroom, a Revival Herb, and a Miracle Seed. You got that? Okay then, here in Lush Jungle, let's time. it's time for Mallow's trial to begin. Lit. Alright, well, let's go. Time to time to get it started. Uh, we need Stalin. Stalin, let's go. You're gonna, you're gonna, oh. Where do, where did, where do you need me, sir? There it is. Something. Oh, give me that tiny mushroom. 
Thank you, Stoutlin. Anything else? That, But the big mushroom is stacked. Oh, yeah. It's a um, thing that's name I can't remember. Shinotic. Shinotic? Shinotic? I don't know. This thing's got a weird name, but... Anywho, Flareon can take care of that. Okay, level 45. Okay, so I think we took the right idea in our level. The totem Pokemon, if I had to take a guess, is going to be anywhere from, like, two to four levels higher than the last totem. I don't think... I think, at most, it'll get to level 50, which could be scary, but I don't think they're going to get that big of a, like, jump this early on. Like... I, I don't I feel like we're gonna get level 50 like not for a while so oh that's a Pokemon in here oh oh boy what's attacking me let's find out this battle is gonna oh it's just a it's just a Fomantis Fomantis looks so cute I honestly okay real talk I love all like I don't think I hate any of the gen 7 mon to be honest like, I don't think any of the Pokemon that were introduced in Gen 7 were bad other than Incineroar. Incineroar was literally it, and it's not even, like... And it's not even, like, Incineroar itself is bad. It's more so its design. So... I don't know. I mean... That might just be my personal opinion, but... You know, I really... I couldn't just... I couldn't connect with, uh... Incineroar, to be honest with you guys, but we're gonna put on a repel real quick. We only got five. Oh boy. Alrighty. Um, we need a, another a Mago Berry, a Revival Herb, and I think that I think there's something else. I can't remember. Over here. Nope. Okay. What if it's over here? There it is. Suspicious looking grass. Yeah. Sure. Revival Herb. Wait. No, it's not. Pokemon leaped out. Oh boy. Is it gonna be a Petalil? Oh boy. It's just another Fomantis. Okay. I think the Fomantis just start all attacking you until uh, the Lurantis. I think it's Lurantis you fight. I think Lurantis is the totem Pokemon in, in both games, actually. I don't know. I know that a few in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, some of the trial Pokemon were changed. Because I know, in, I'm pretty sure, in, at least when I played through Ultra Moon, um, instead of fighting Wishy Washy, you fight uh, Araquanid. And then instead of fighting Salazzle, you fight a Marowak. So, oh, okay. There's just going to be a bunch of annoying fucking... Okay, we're going to speed this up a little. Because we're going to take 12 years otherwise. And you know what? We don't want to do that. We do not want that to happen. I need to drink. Ah, perfect. I love just always having some kind of drink on me. Especially after work. Because I always have, I always have a drink after uh, after work. I always grab something before I get out. But yeah, I did just I did just finish. Um, I just got home from work and did some grinding, and uh, basically finished all the grinding for this. And you know, here we are. I'm hoping to try to bulk record just a little bit because it is um, it's Friday. It's Saturday for me, and. I need, I'm going to try to do a bit of bulk recording because uh, I do work Monday and Tuesday. So I want to try to have a video for both and then hopefully we'll be good. But, oh boy. How's effect wore off? Let's just keep it going. I'm going to need Taurus or Tauros, but it's our Taurus. I'm going to imagine that it's our Taurus. Okay, big root. I think I still need a berry. So... I need the Mago Berry and the Miracle Seed. So, I think we should go back this way and get on Stoutland and just, you know, keep sniffing around. I really can't remember, like, anything about this trial. I'll be honest with you guys. I think maybe it's behind this. Maybe we do need Tauros. All right. You know what? It's going to take a while. It's going to take us a minute. Um... Is it over here? Is it over here? Tor the Stoutland, I swear to God. Okay. Is it under here? Okay, we've torn up everything. Now, please tell me... There we go. Alrighty. Miracle Seed. That's what I needed. Yes, perfect. Alright. So, one ingredient left. Um... 
Where am I, like, where am I supposed to be going? Nope. Oh, here it is. X attack. Ah, oh, great. It wasn't even what I needed. Awesome. Okay. Well, the Mago Berry is all we need, and I honestly can't tell you guys where we're supposed to find that thing. Nope, that's an X defense. Awesome. Not what I need. Salin, please be useful to me. This trial's gonna take us eight years. It's been almost ten minutes. Alrighty. Um, honestly, maybe it's over here? A hyper potion. Nope, not what we needed. Um, I need... Please, 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 please. Uh, okay. Alright, that's gonna take us 12 years. You know what? It's fine. We'll just sit here and we'll all chat, you know? How are you guys doing? Tell me down below in the comments. section. I've been doing pretty good, to be honest with you guys. Uh, you know, been weaving out, watching some anime. I, uh, just finished a race. Great anime. I would absolutely recommend it, to be honest with you guys. It was really good. So, you know, I thought it was pretty fun. I thought it was a pretty good anime. So, if you guys ever need an anime, I would say a race is a good one. It's only 12 episodes. Uh, both the dub, the dub's pretty good. Um, the subs, the subs pretty good. So you know what? I would recommend both. I'm gonna turn down the uh, speed rate again, since it's probably killing your guys' ears. But there we go. All right, let's keep going. But yeah, you know, any anime you guys have been watching? I, I need more, so recommend me some, please. Hey, Nick! Great, now now that we've got all the ingredients, we just need... Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, so, sorry to keep you waiting. How are you, Mallow? Oh, boy, our friends. They brought us stuff. Oh, boy, this will be good. I brought the thick club in the red bone. And I brought some fresh water and your, the usual rocky helmet. Thanks, Lana. Thanks, Kiawe. Now we've got everything we need. You're up next, Nick. We're going to cook up, and up a storm and lure out the totem Pokemon of Flesh Jungle. Let me see what you've got for me. One mango berry, check. One mu tiny mushroom, check. One revival herb, check. One miracle seed, check. Perfect, just what the recipe calls for. Now for the Mallow special. The aroma of this tasty dish will draw out the Pokemon right to us. Ready to start cooking? Yeah. Fuck yeah, let's get this started. Okay, Lana, flip that rocky helmet over and let's pour the fresh water into it. Here you are. Then in goes the Mago Berry, the Tiny Mushroom, the Revival Herb, and the Miracle Seed. Kiawe, let us use the stick club and that rare bone for a minute. Here you are. This is really fun. His voice, I don't know, man. Okay, Nick. Grab the thick club and the rare bone and pound it to a pulp. Oh, yeah. Why is this camera angle? Crush it. Alrighty. Grind it. Okay. This is... I don't... You know, to be perfectly honest with you guys, I cannot remember this part of this, uh... Entire, like, just situation. You feel a piercing gaze from somewhere within the underbrush. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's gonna eat me. Why does she pout? What? Oh, hello. I, I'm just like, oh. I love how from the back... Like, that first where it looks, it's looking from behind you, it looks like it's like twice your size. It's just your size. It's like, it's the same height as you. But you know what? This Lurantis is not ready for what is about to happen. I'm pretty sure Lurantis is a bug grass type. It might not be, and it might be a, just a grass type. But either way, uh, Natsu's about to murder it, so. You know, it's level 50. Holy shit. Okay. Well, I was not 100% ready for this. But it's protected. Oh, what a bitch. Okay, well, I was gonna flare blitz, but I don't think that's a good idea. So, we're just gonna keep going as it. And it's a Comfey. Alright, Comfey is a. Uh, I think it's just a fairy type. So, I'm not gonna attack it. I'll save it for later. X Scissor. Okay, we resist that. Swallowed. Oh, Sunny Day? Thank you. Thank you so much. I don't know why you would do that, but that's fine. Just make it easier for me to murder the Lorantis, to be honest with you. There we go. Alright, well, there's over half, so that's all that matters. Uh, this thing might use that, um... Oh, it's gonna synthesis. Okay, that's why. I don't remember what that... It's got some kind of, like... I don't know what the name of the attack is. And there it is, okay. Okay, so maybe we should Flare Blitz. Maybe Flare Blitz is the best. Why am I... Like, oh, I've been flare blitz. I've been fire banging everything. 
I'm gonna Flare Blitz. I'm gonna Flare Blitz Lorant Lorantis. Because it's gonna Synthesis. And I think a Flare Blitz should kill because it's Stab, super effective, and uh, the Sun is up. So... I think we should be fine. I don't know what that does. Oh, it's just healing it all the way. Okay. Alrighty. Well, Flare Blitz should hopefully kill. If not, it's gonna hurt Natsu a lot. There we go. Perfect. Alright, you know what? This is probably the easiest totem battle we're gonna do the entire time. This might be the easiest totem battle. So, you know what? I'm gonna let it happen like this. I'm gonna go into Mina. And I'm gonna murder this Comfey with a gunk shot or two. And we'll see how it goes. Grassy terrain, that's fine. Is Comfey a fairy type? I'm pretty sure it's a fairy type and it just looks like it would be a grass type. But I can't be certain. Well, I could, like, try to crunch it or... Brick break it, but that'd be dumb, so. I'm gonna gunk shot. It's super effective, and it's dead. There we go. Easy peasy. Probably the easiest totem we're gonna, like, ever fight. You know, actually, well, the Raticate wasn't that bad. The Alolan Raticate was actually kind of easy. Um, but we did have Diana at the time, and we just power-up punched it to death. So, there we go. Wow, Nick, you're strong, huh? You really, you were really able to draw out the flavor in your Pokemon in that battle. Totem Pokemon bowed right down to you. Yes, even back at Dweller Volcano Park, my va vaunted Salazar would, didn't even stand a chance. Nor did the wishy-washy that I had trained so carefully. All right, you've cleared all three of Kala's trials. You even managed to get through my trial, and I'd say that's a real doozy. Here, a gift for such an inspiring young trainer like you. Okay, well, uh, Grassy MZ. Lit. Perfect. All right, when do we get the, um... When do we get the Z crystal for our starter? The Decidu the Deciduum Z. Yeah. That's what it's called. The Deciduum Z. I don't know what it's called. Incinium Z, Prominium Z, and then I think it's Decidium. I don't know. I could be wrong. Anywho, let me show you how to how to use this grass type Z move. You go like grass, K. Okay? Grass. Okay. I don't know what that like kind of I don't know, man. Since you cleared my trial, Nick, I want you to help me train some Pokemon here in the Lush Jungle. Here, have some Nest Balls. We can get an encounter here now. So, I mean, we should probably do that. Hmm? Looks like Larantis didn't finish all the food. Ooh, I really want you guys to try some. Have a bike, Yahweh. You too, Lana. If you insist. Lick. Are they going to eat it or are they going to, like, hate it? Let's find out. The flavor of the rare bone seems to fill my whole mouth. It tastes so good that you might melt. No, wait. Is that my tongue melting? Oh, they actually like it. Okay. It's... It's so... Sp <laughs> That's amazing. Aw. What? What's wrong with you guys? Don't you even have... Don't you have any taste? Are you headed up to Olivia's for the grand trial? Oh, boy. So they didn't like it. Good to know. Oh, great. He's here. Woohoo! <laughs> That's... What's that sweet smell I drift in my way? Could it be the tasty mallow special? I heard you cleared Mallow's trial, yeah? All right then, I have a present for you. That little DM right here is Smart Strike, a move that will never miss. I think it's a Steel type move, so I don't think anybody can learn it. But you know what? Thank you, Kiawe. Kiawe, Kukui. Kiuki. I don't know, man. There <sighs> Fuck, that's racist. There'll be all kinds of discoveries and the new experiences to you for you to take adventure brighter. There's a facility, yeah, that I want you to go check out on your island challenge. The Dimensional Research Lab. Let's go over there and they do extreme speed. I can't. I'm mumbling. I'm tripping over my words. It's not been a... It's been a heavy day, man. Hey there, Nick. Guess you... Guess I should congratulate you on clearing out the Akalata Island's trials. Congrats. Looks like it's time for you to take on the Kahuna La Olivia's Grand Trial. Olivia is an expect, expert at the rock type Pokemon. You're gonna want to catch some grass type Pokemon in less jungle to add to your team. Whenever you're ready for the Grand Trial, come see me at the Dimensional Research Lab. It's down past Route 6, yeah? But just ask Rotom if you need help. Okay, bye, Kakui. I don't know why. I'd, I, I can't remember anybody's name. We haven't seen Kakui in like eight episodes. So you know what? Can't blame me. Anywho, we're gonna quickly grab our encounter here and then we'll, uh,. We'll be good to go. It's probably gonna be a grass type Pokemon, so. Give me a Cyndaquil. <gasps> it's an orange guru. An orange guru. I don't know why I said orange. 
There we go. Alrighty. Oh, look at him. He's so beautiful. I am almost dead. I should not be out here. Uh, you know what? You know what? We're gonna... We're gonna own a Romzen. And we're gonna just psychic it. So, foul play... Hello? Excuse me? What? Alright. Well, we're gonna... New plan. We're gonna go into Mina. Better, the better plan, perhaps. Calm mind. Okay. You are a scary, scary Pokemon, but I don't think you can hit me, so... I'm gonna Poison Fang. I'm eight levels ahead of you, that might hurt. Never mind. Okay. We're fine. Nothing to worry about, boys. Or Oranguru, I want you on my team. Please. Oh, you're almost gonna die. Okay, foul play's fine, because that's a physical attack, and it doesn't get... Oh, you're badly poisoned. Oh, fuck me. Oh, no. Nepple is more effective to catch... Oh, no. It's Nest Ball is what you gave me. Effective the lower the lower the level of the oh, God. I'm gonna throw it. Whatever. Sand the ball. Oh fuck. Instruct. What does that do? Oh, it's forcing it to kill itself. What? Are you kidding? He just made me kill it. He just killed himself. He didn't want to be a part of our team, and that's really sad. Oranguru would have been awesome. This man would have rather let him force me to kill him than to actually join my team. And that's really just, you know, it's kind of sad. Hurts my feelings, I'll be honest with you guys. <laughs> that was depressing. Um, I never want something like that to happen in my life again. All right, you know what? Let's ride this Charizard into the next trial. Where is Route 6? I shouldn't have gone to Paniola. I should have gone to, uh... I should have gone to Royal Avenue, actually, now that I think about it. Um... Yeah, I feel like it... Well, actually... Probably just go to Hey Hey City. Hiya Hiya City. Yeah. Oh, lit. Okay. Um, in that case... Oh, I forgot I couldn't go this way a while ago. Diglett's Tunnel. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Well... Alright. I came in here to get a new encounter and... Cry over the fact that... Uh, I, I don't think I can attack you without you dying, to be honest with you. I was gonna cry over the fact that Virgo's still dead, but... Um, I guess we're gonna catch the Zubat. So you know what? We'll catch it. Venoshock. Four. Okay. I see you. I see you. I see how it is. Sand the ball. Thank you. Awesome. You know what? That's lit. That's lit. But anywho. We're gonna... What do we want to nickname this thing? Um... We're gonna name it... Cassidy. That does not look how you spell Cassidy. But we're gonna do it anyways. No, you're not going to my party. You're going to the box. And Toxic Orb is now in my bag, I guess. All right. Well, anywho, um, I'm going to slow this down, and we're going to keep going. And I think we're at the point where I'm going to start just not dialoguing anymore. But we're going to just keep going anyways. Can I? Thank you. All right. I'm going to get on the Taurus. I'm going to get on our, our, our little Taurus, the Tauros. There we go. And just run inside. Imagine somebody just busting into a Pokemon Center. Just in a, on a Tauros. And just, you know, that'd be amazing. That'd be great. But you know, Tauros hasn't gotten that much love. And it makes me a little sad. And I kind of want to use him more. But he hasn't gotten, like, much use. Because we haven't been finding anybody that, you know, he can really take on. But grinding him up has been really easy. Because he just murders everything. And fighting other trainers, like... He's just a powerhouse, so, you know, what's the worst that could happen? Let's just keep going, and I think it's supposed to go in here. <laughs> go, Nebby! Use, use Splash! Nope. You? <laughs> it's like, really? <laughs> what? <laughs> I was just acting like I was Nick. She's, she's pretending to be us behind, right behind her back. You, you always seem to end up getting hurt, Nebby. So I never really liked Pokemon Trainers, or I thought that I would want to be one myself. But when I see Nick and Hal, it's like they've thrown open some door that I always thought was closed. They stride straight through it into the future. It seems so amazing somehow. Dude, Nebby does not give two shits, and I feel bad. Pew. Oh, alright. Oh! Oh, yeah. Uh, oh. Nick, hello. I feel like it's been a while since we last met. Th there's a laboratory here that studies the dimensions, did you know? And the professor is waiting to meet you. How how are you at trials? It must be quite quite trying to do three in a row. It was no problem. Yeah, we're, we're men. We're strong. Goodness, really? 
It wasn't any trouble for you to tackle all three of Kala Island trials? Well, we almost, like, lost Mons everywhere. I suppose that explains it. The reason you took so- you look so content and understood by Tauros there, I mean. Oh, well, yeah, Tauros loves us. You know, we've, we've done good, we pulled along, didn't really have any problems with the trials. We did lose Mon, a Mon, two Mons. We lost Eviolite on this island. So, yeah, alright. Uh, but, surprisingly, it wasn't because of the trial. It's because we got screwed over by a wood hammering Sudowoodo, and I am forever bitter. Floor three. All right. Let's do this. Let's get this going. There's a lot of dialogue here, so I'm really not feeling like it. But, uh, let's just... All you need to know is that he's married to this lady. And, uh, yeah, I'd marry her too. So, can't say I'm gonna judge him. I look like an idiot. But you know what? Know how today. We're just gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna skip through this dialogue, you know, we're gonna just have a one-on-one -on, -one on one on however many people watch this video. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't really know what to say. We all know I'm antisocial, just what I am, you know, I just say what I think and there's not a lot of thinking up there. So, we're just gonna keep going, you know, talk about... Our, our favorite things. If you guys like anime, you know, what kind of animes do you guys watch? The garbage like that. And can I, uh, go see what you can learn from everybody? I have to go talk to people. That's how it feels like when I go outside. I'm forced to socialize. It's one of the worst things ever. Recorded several known relationships, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Do I have to read? Oh, man. God damn it. I'm being forced to interact with people. That's how it feels all the time. I don't know what happened months ago. Well, I wanted to learn more about, I mean, Cosmo. Okay. Well, my hair is like falling apart. My life is, my life is falling apart. Let's be honest with you guys. You know what? It's fine. We're all good. You know, I've been, uh, we've just been pulling along. We're doing good, making the, making the progress in this game. So I'm actually kind of happy about that. We've made a little bit of progress, um, this game. So, you know, I can't be mad. Uh, these last two episodes have been very good in progress. We haven't had any f uh, filler. Well, we've had like two episodes in a row of filler, but that's besides the point. Anywho, uh, hopefully the series isn't going to take like 12 years because I would prefer it didn't. But we're basically done with Akala Island and this is like episode what? Uh, 16? I think I think it's episode 16 so you know I'm glad we're making progress and I'm glad we're getting through I think there's only two more islands after this and the next island isn't that long I think it's just like I think two oh whoa there's a crack in the sky that what was that just now a crack in, oh hey that's what I said hey Nick so you've made it all throughout the captain's trials yeah then you should go, go meet Kahuna Olivia. She lives in the town basket Diglett's Tunnel. Diglett's Tunnel, let's, let's see. From here, you'd find it's kind of near the PZ. It's easy to walk right past it, though, so keep your eyes peeled. Now it's Malasella time for me. Oh, I love how. He's like a high-pitched Kukui. And it's great. Anywho, we're going to keep going. So, you know, like I said, um, I'm just really glad this series is kind of pulling her along pulling through you know um it's gone well and i'm gonna be 100 percent honest guys i just wanted to say it right now uh probably hasn't been an episode of soul link yet um joe and i were supposed to record yesterday and by yesterday i mean saturday and he said he was going we were going to be able to record after um he got home from a party i'm assuming either he passed out as soon as he got there or got home or well back to his dorm or he just didn't get home until super late because uh, we actually never got to record. So I don't know if this if Soul Link's going to be starting this week or next week, but hopefully it'll be able to start next week. But I'm working so much this upcoming week, it's probably going to be a little difficult. So bear with us, you know? Hmm? Oh, Nick, wasn't it? I don't know why I do the head. I, I'm so I get I become one with the inner like just voice of Olivia that I turn into just uh, like I sound and act like a sassy black woman so this cave really is something you know it's overflowing of these pokemon called diglett and they're get they're getting really out of hand 
Mediocre trainers can't even get through. So how's your iron challenge going? Let me see which crystals you've earned. Oh, look at you, Nick. Nice work. I see you've even passed Malo's trial. It's about time you had some fun with me. The Diggly have settled down, too. Uh, okay. Yeah, um, interesting. If you're as strong as you appear, you should be able to make it through this cave. At the other end of it, you'll find Kony Kony City. That's where my shop is. I'll see you there. I don't know what that... Like, I tried not to, uh... Apparently, I can't do my, like, the, the black woman uh, voice without, uh, actually... Wait, what'd you say, sir? Looks like your fellow trainer, you, you're a fellow trainer who can use Z-Power in battle. Let's find out whose full force strength is uh, the fullest. Beat all the trainers in his tunnel if you can t think you can take... I really don't want to take you on, my friend. I'll be honest with you. Anyhow, I can't I can't do the, the black woman voice unless I move my head like I, I, I did. So yeah, that's what happened. Phew. With Livia in charge, we'll, we finally managed to make some headway against those diglets. Oh, Alola. We're members of the Aether Foundation. We work to support Pokemon conservation. It seems like Team Skull is responsible for the Diglett in this cave getting so riled up and bringing them up all up to the surface. Oh, Team Skull is this group of troublemakers, you see? They will, I don't really care about this. I'm gonna just, We're gonna skip through it. I was gonna make them sound robotic like I did with Team Galactic because like, the Aether Foundation, the Aether Foundation's like, you know, they're very uh, scripted to say the least. Like, literally everything they say is basically a script, and there's a Pokemon ready to attack me from the ground, isn't it? That's an- Oh! Don't attack me, sir. Please refrain from hurting me. I don't want to fight you. You're probably in a lolan diglet. Diggy lit. I don't want to fight these trainers, but I have to. So I'm gonna. And we're probably gonna lose some mods, but you know what? I've skipped enough, uh, enough trainers. So, ugh. I'm yawning, and this is the first episode I'm recording tonight. So, to be perfectly honest with you guys, let's not be expecting me to record multiple videos tonight, because it's probably not gonna happen. Anywho, I really want to use... I want to use Taurus. So I'm gonna Zen Headbutt this thing. And that did nothing. Alrighty. I'm gonna try to flinch it again. Let's get another flinch real quick. Nope, okay. And it's Stealth Rocking. Alright, well, we're gonna... Get it a little. We're gonna skiddily do out of here, and you're gonna talk toxic. You are a toxic human being. You know what? Deku learned uh, leaf blade, so I can't be mad. So at least now I can murder things a little, uh, a little you know, better. But I'm gonna use this Petra Berry. I'm gonna use the Petra Berries before I use the full heals, because for some reason this game has made. Okay, I was about to lose it. I was about to scream at the top of my lungs if I lost right there and then. If I lost Deku. But for some reason, they've made... Um, why is that doing so much damage? Oh my god. Okay, so I can be four-hitted. I Or if I get hit five times, I'm dead. So do I have somebody who can take an, a, a rock blast better? Um, okay, 82... 92, 70, 74, 104. Okay, um. Hmm. I should probably go into Taurus. Uh, Taurus is really my only hope. Because if this thing five hits Deku, I'm dead. And I don't think I'm strong enough. And, okay, I meant they missed, so that's fine. I don't think I am strong enough to uh, one shot it with Leaf Blade. So, Swagger, you're a bitch. You know what? Joke's on you. I have a bunch of full heals. You fool. And I think I have a, like, a... Uh... No, I don't. Okay, never mind. Alright, you know what? That's fine. Let's go. Rock Blast, one. Two. Okay, it only hit twice. The Sandstorm is gone. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, I think a Super Potion will fully heal me. It should. There we go. Swagger, you know what? Fine. I'm at plus four now. I got nothing to worry about. Alright, this battle's taking longer than it should. So you know what? We're gonna fight this one trainer and end the episode. Toxic misses. Fuck you. I'm Zen Headbutting. And you're dead. And you're not dead. Okay. Wow, this thing has some killer defenses, so... Just keep going. Toxic, that's fine. So... Toxic, Stealth Rock... And Rock Blast were all I saw. I feel like that thing had Explosion. But you never know. 
Will I switch Pokemon? Yes, I'll switch Pokemon. I'm gonna go into Mina. You've probably got a Dark type, so, or not a Dark type. And it's a ground type, and it's an Excadrill, which is really even scarier. Um, hey, everyone. This is it. This is how it ends. An Excadrill that has... Oh, boy. Alrighty. Okay, hello. Alright, okay. Um, can we not do that? Can we... Can this not happen? Oh, no, that's not good for me. Okay, so... This isn't good. It's probably not good. Oh boy, alrighty. So, absolutely no one I have right now is living in Earthquake. In any way, shape, or form. And I'm barely living Earthquakes. So, you know what? This is good. This is awesome. Um, I don't think I can switch into anybody and this go without this going poorly. So, that's been like what? Uh, how many, how many hyper potions did I have? I'm gonna die no matter what. Somebody's gonna die. <sighs> Fuck me. Unless Taurus can take this better than Eviolite Jr. And live the poison. Which I don't think he can. Alright, let's go into Taurus and see how it goes. Oh, Iron Head. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so, you know what? You know what my biggest pet peeve of, gen of this generation was? Uh, Hyper Potion's getting nerfed, because that was some bullshit. Okay, Earthquake, I eat that a little better, and I can fully heal, but that poison is going to kill me. So, I'm toxic too, isn't it? It's toxic, it is toxic. Somebody's gonna have to die. Somebody's gonna have to die, and I feel like it's gotta be Taurus. Why did I fight this trainer? This is what happens when I fight trainers. Okay, so... I have to let Taurus die. Because the Toxic is going to kill me anyways. I can't even fully heal Eviolite Jr. If Eviolite Jr. gets hit one more time, he's dead. Wow. This battle fucking sucks. That's awesome. Okay. And if I heal, I can heal... I can heal... Deku. Deku resists... Okay, I, I'm so sorry, Taurus. I just said I wanted to use Taurus no, map more, and now Taurus is fucking dead. Timestamping that. Okay, well, this battle's gonna go horribly. Let's see how this goes. And the stupid toxic spikes are so annoying. Substitute, you are a whole fucking bitch. You're a whole bitch. He's gonna spam substitute now. He's probably out of earthquakes. But I wouldn't have lived another Earth... Or I wouldn't have lived a combination of an Earthquake. And this thing outspeeds me. Which is probably the more annoying thing. So, how much does this do? How much does an Iron Head do? Iron Head does so much. There's absolutely nothing I can do in this situation right now. I needed to miss an Iron Head. And I'm pretty sure Iron Head can miss. Or is it 100% accurate? I can't remember. But... Alright. Let's keep going. Let's just wait for it to run out of Iron Heads at this point, or I run out of potions. Which will happen first. Okay, well, this battle's going well, everyone. Can you not? Can you stop Iron Heading, please? Can Iron Head miss? Is it 100% accurate, or is it 80? Or is it just an Headbutt that can miss? I can't remember. Either way, you know what? Moral of this story, we lost, be or we lost Amon because of the fact that Hyper Potions were nerfed. Because I'm... As long as I can remember, Hyper Potions heal 200 damage. And now it's like 120. So, I don't know what that's about, but that's a load of bullshit. I'll tell you what. So, this thing's out of Earthquakes. Absolutely. It has to be out of Earthquakes. But I don't want to risk it. But, act well, no, the fucking... The spikes are going to ruin it anyways. I don't think... Okay, who's my fastest mod? Because I think it's... I think it's Romson. 82, 64, 126. I mean, I can go in, I'll swallow the Iron Head, but then I'm not. it's not guaranteed Psychic's going to kill, and it's not guaranteed I'm going to outspeed it. And right now, I need to eat Iron Head, and I know Natsu's not living, because Natsu's going to get hit by the Iron Head, and then going to die to the Earthquake. So, 
how much how much PP does Ironhead have? I don't know what this I don't know what to do in this situation to be honest with you guys. There's nothing I can really do in this situation, which is really annoying. I can try to outspeed and charm, but I don't think that's guaranteed gonna win or gonna help me. So Does Ron just no you have the fighting MZ. And you're not living an earthquake if it hits me with it. But I think he's used up all his earthquakes. He should have. I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna keep healing Deku until I have no other option. But I think he should be running out of iron heads by now. How much PP does Iron Head have? Let's find out. He's earthquaking again. So He's not out of Earthquakes, which tells me he's uh, he's not out of Iron Heads either. I need to find out how much PP Iron Head has. Iron Head has 15, max 20, and it's 100% accurate. Okay, sounds about right. Um, He's had to have used 18 by now. I can live one. So I just need this Leaf Blade to hit. He's Sword Stancing. Awesome. Glad Leaf Blade hit, and it's dead. All right. Well, it's been 40 minutes, and uh, of course, because I decided to fight a trainer uh we lost him on and now you guys can see firsthand once again uh this is why we don't take on trainers because i get mega unlucky and i lose mons because of it because they have ridiculous pokemon and dude extra drill is like extra drill is one of those mons that's just so annoying because it's so like just powerful that everything dies no matter what all right well Look at that, six dead mons and it's episode 16. Okay. I really don't want to bring, I don't know who to bring. I mean, a flying type, I guess, wouldn't be that bad. So, and a crowbat would be pretty, crowbat would be a fast mon, but we already have a poison type. I already have a grass type. I could bring air slayer back on the squad, but you're a dark type and I don't need a dark type right now. I can like DJ is a perfect switch. I could bring, like, Bug Fairy wouldn't be that bad, but then I have to level it up so much. And it's Adamant Nature, and I'm pretty sure there's spe higher special attack usually. So, really don't want to bring the, I don't want to bring Kratos because Kratos' ability is so fucking awful. His nature is so good, and, like, I like his nature, but his ability is fucking just garbage. I need more encounters, dude. I don't want to rock out with the team of six. It's not safe. So I'm going to bring DJ on the squad for now. And we'll just end the episode here. So fun, fun. Uh, Taurus dead. Great. So I guess with that, we're going to end the episode here, you guys. And in the next episode, we'll be going to the next town and probably taking on Olivia. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you smash that like, money, follow the merch, just subscribe to Pod and PC Party. Stage defense, follow on Twitter, PC Blowmaster. Join the Discord link is down below. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm PC Blowmaster. And I'll see you guys next time.